The overall goal of this procedure is to record complex neural activity in the brain and coordinate it with the video recorded behaviors of freely moving insects. This is accomplished by first manufacturing a flexible recording tetrode from extremely fine wire, sharpening, testing, and coating the tip and material for marking its location, and stabilizing the wire in polyethylene tubing. The second step is to insert the recording tetrode into the brain, stabilize it with acetate and wax, and secure a strain relief loop to the head. Next, neural activity is recorded along with video recording of locomotor behavior. Synchronize the video to the recording by a synchronizing pulse to an LED and the amplifier. The final step is to deposit copper using a continuous electric current and intensify the staining using the TIMS method to visualize the recording site. Ultimately, high-density multi-unit extracellular sorting techniques identify neural units, while analysis of simultaneously recorded video of the behaviors allows for fine-scale correlation of neural activity and behavior. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows us to use existing procedures to record high-density extracellular neural activity from an insect's brain while it's performing a complex behavior. It then allows us to identify where in the brain the tetrodes were, and all of this can be done relatively inexpensively. This technique can help answer key questions in neuroethology by correlating the timing and intensity of neural activity in specific brain regions to the behavior of a freely moving animal. This method can provide insight into sensory motor control, but it can be also applied to any behaviors that require freely moving insects, such as learning, orientation, or navigation. Generally, individuals new to this method